Hi, I'm DeWitt. I'm Debbie. Welcome, Welcome to, to Shelly's Nest. Nest. In our first video, we're going to give you a quick tour of our RV. We've been living in it, traveling for a couple of months now, and just want to show you some of what we have done. We're excited to start some YouTube videos, and this is our first one, our big kickoff. So there'll be more in the future, uh, things related to the RV, such as how we make it as our home, to what we've been doing on the road, different places we're visiting and such. So we hope you'll uh, enjoy the journey with us. Welcome to our new RV. This is a 2019 Tiffin Allegro Open Road 32SA. We bought it in August of 2019 and we thought we'd give you a tour so that you can see where we live when we're on the road. And we named our RV Shelly because an RV like a turtle is when you take your home with you wherever you go. So here's the front of the RV. Here is Shelly, our mascot. She's got a little nest I made for her. So she's perched up there when we travel down the road and then when we're strapped she gets to stay right there. And here's the cockpit area where DeWitt gets to drive. And then my side has a nice little pull-out desk. I can work going down the road or make lunch is basically what I do when we're going down the road. And we have a TV up here and some storage. All right, and take count, that's TV number one. And then coming back down, I'm gonna show you that our daughter gave us this doormat. The kids won't move back home if they can't find it. Here's the door. We've got the shade pulled down. We have the shades pulled down right now on all the windows. Here's some storage above the door. And here's the kitchen. It is a double sink. It's covered right now, so it shows how much countertop that we have when the sink is covered. We have storage above the sink. And we have storage below the sink, which carries, it's got the uh, trash can and cleaning supplies. We have three drawers here that are nice and long. Holds a lot of things. We have a gas oven and gas cooktop. It's a three burner cooktop. And again, it is covered. It shows how much countertop we have when everything's covered. And this gas oven is wonderful. We used to have a 2000 Gulfstream Conquest RV, and it had a very small gas oven in it, and it burned everything I cooked. This one, so far, I haven't burned anything. Right. We have a convection microwave. Makes yummy brownies. Some storage above. And to the right is a spice cabinet. It's open right now, so it's normally closed. Yeah. And then we have a large residential freezer and refrigerator, and it holds a lot. And it even has an ice maker. That is really cool. Holds a lot. So we can carry lots of groceries and water bottles with us on our trip. All right, I took the covers off of the kitchen counter so you can see my three burner cooktop. The middle burner is the fast burner. And then I also took the covers off the sink so you can see just how big my sink is. I love it. And then coming down, we have, all right, count it, number two, our second TV. With the electric fireplace below. And it really does help keep the chill out of the air when we were traveling during the uh, colder months. And then above the TV is more storage. And we have a pocket door, which I've closed. There's two pocket doors. There's this one, and there's one on the other side of the split bath. But this just kind of shows that we can kind of turn this into a more of a living room without having to look back into the other part of the RV. Okay. And then coming around, we have a lot of storage above the couch. We have a nice large couch. It's good for laying down and taking naps. It also folds out to a queen size bed. It's been slept on once and we were told that it was quite comfortable, so that's good. And then here is our table and workstation. 
DeWitt works from the road. He's still working, so he works from the road, and this gives him more space to pull, pull everything out. We have drawers on this side, and down here there's another drawer that is a file cabinet. We have more storage underneath the table. On the other side, top drawer is a computer keyboard pull-out drawer, and that cabinet has a roll-out roll out shelf for a printer that maybe one day we'll have. We don't have one right now. And more storage above here. So I am now standing in the cockpit looking back just to show you when our slides are out. We have a slide. The slide is, it encompasses the table and workstation and the couch. That has slid out. When it's in, it's right at the edge of where the pocket door is in the wall. That's where it comes into. So it gives us a lot of room to walk around. All right, this RV has a split bath, which means that the shower is on one side. We have a nice large shower. Put a seat in it. And a nice skylight. All right, and then the toilet and sink are on the other side. We have lots of storage up here as well. So there's a cabinet, a window, another cabinet above the toilet. And we have a towel bar there, and we also have more towel bars on the door. So we have plenty of space to put our towels. And then we also have under the cabinet storage for more goodies. And so the doors open. And on the other side, the pocket door is closed. So in the mornings, we close this. After Dwight has had his shower, he goes out there and starts working. We close that off. So then I have this area to myself. If we had company and we were still in the bedroom and they needed privacy in the bathroom, they could close this pocket door and it would create a nice big bathroom. All right, and here is the bedroom and up here, TV, number three. Little vanity area. Underneath we have a hamper and some drawers. And then above this we have a double door wardrobe cabinet. And it has lots of space. And we added the uh, hanging shelf just to create a little bit more for us, more space. All right, here's the bed. This is a king size bed, which is nice for us because we're used to a queen size bed. So we can't find each other sometimes in there. The bed's so big. Each side has a nightstand and outlets and charging stations. And then there's lots of storage above and it's pretty deep, it goes back in. And then we have this wardrobe on this side too it's a pretty narrow one they have the uh, hooks in there so we can hang jackets up in there we have a shelf and we've used that for putting like folded t-shirts and underclothes and such in there as well as hanging some of our lightweight uh, jackets for when it's cool outside All right. and the bed also raises to allow more storage underneath and there's the two extra chairs that we have they're two folding chairs that go with the dining table up front so we can accommodate four people and it's pretty comfortable up there we've done that several times all right so i'm standing in the bedroom to show you the view from the bedroom to the front going through the split bath and opening into the living space the dining space the kitchen here is the outside of the RV with the living room slide out. Here's the other side of the RV with the bedroom slide out. Remember inside the RV, we were counting the TVs and we got up to three? Well, here's TV number four. This RV has more TVs than we have in our regular house. Crazy, isn't it? We had fun making this video. We hope you had fun watching it. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.